You know, friends, one of the questions I get all the time at Girl Camper is, do I need a weight distribution hitch or do I need an anti-sway bar? One of the things that I love about my Recurve R3 is that it's two in one. So the weight distribution hitch and the anti-sway bar do two different things. When we hook up our trailer to the pin here, it causes a great deal of weight to go down on the rear axle of your tow vehicle. That's not good. It also causes the front end of your truck to come up, so you don't have the kind of traction you want on all the wheels. The weight distribution hitch levels out the weight, so all the tires are on the ground pulling and towing at the same rate, and that's a good thing. Now, what the anti-sway bar does is it keeps your trailer from swaying left to right. Like when you get passed by a big truck on the highway, you feel that suction. Once that sway starts, each time it goes in and out, it gets exponentially worse if it isn't corrected right away. So the anti-sway component of this keeps that from happening. So here I have my weight distribution hitch, uh, but up here, built into the actual hitch itself, is the anti-sway component. So I will take this little Allen wrench that comes with it, and I will tighten up this nut right here. I, I tighten it until I feel resistance, and then I leave it alone. Now, I have weight distribution, I have anti-sway, and I have all kinds of peace of mind.